Hi, how you doing? Pastor Dave Hi. and Amy here. Hope you're doing well. We want to encourage you today. I don't believe that this COVID crisis is going to last forever. We might be in this for another four weeks, another six weeks. But as we begin to ramp out of it, there's some things that we can do. There's some things that we can look at in scripture. There's some things that we can pray, that we can stand on to help us to come safely out of this time and be ready to transition into all that God has for us. And I wanted to share a story from Acts chapter 27. And it's Paul, when he was on the seas and he got caught in a huge storm. And it was called a Northeasterner, which is the worst of the worst storms in the Mediterranean. He was on his way to Rome to testify before Caesar about his uh, conversion to Christ. And it says this, it says that they had gone without food for a long time and there was this violent storm that began the next day. And what they did was they actually frapped or wrapped the ship because they were afraid that the ship was going to come apart. And it's just really interesting that I think that during times of crisis, we think that everything is going to come apart. Now, it's interesting that ship never did come apart, but when seasoned sailors fear that a ship is going to come apart, that's a pretty serious thing. And yet, the ship did not come apart. But what they did was they lowered the gear, meaning they took down the sails the first day, okay? And they, they basically, they were at the mercy of the winds. And they're not used to that. They're used to being in control. They're used to being in charge. And here they had to lower the sails and just go with it, okay? And all of us during our lives, there's times in crisis where we just have to go with it. We're just gonna have to pray and we're just gonna have to trust that God is in control. But then the second day, it says that they began to throw all of the cargo, the very reason for the ship's existence, okay? They, they actually threw it all overboard, okay? <laughs> and so we see things, it looks like they're getting worse, but what they're doing is they're preserving their life for what God had for them next, all 276 men on board, including Paul, some of his men. Then the third day of this storm, it says that they literally began throwing the ship's tackle, meaning the way that they would be able to control all the sails and everything, they threw it overboard. So now they're completely at mercy. They're never gonna be able to sail it again. They're just hoping and praying. This went on for 14 days. Darkness, stormy seas, 40, 50 foot waves, driving, howling wind. Ship is cracking, it's moaning, it's creaking. They're afraid for their life. And here's what it says in verse 33 of Acts 27. As day was about to dawn, Paul urged them all to take some food saying, today is the 14th day, okay, that you have continued in suspense. Some say that you've continued to be anxious, some translations, without food, and you've taken nothing. I urge you, take some food for it will give you strength. And it's interesting, I love Paul, he's such an encourager, and he's telling the men on the ship, most of whom don't know Christ, he's saying, look, there's some things that you can do to strengthen yourself. But could you imagine being on a ship for 14 days without food, in the dark, every moment fearing that that huge wave is just gonna wipe you out. They were in suspense, they were in anxiety, they were fearful for their lives straight for 14 days. I know that Amy and I, over these last six weeks that we've been a little nervous. I mean, we've been unsettled. We haven't been able to sleep as well as we normally do. But I wanna encourage you that uh, what happened to Paul, an angel of the Lord stood by his side right. and assured him that it's gonna go well with you and everybody with you. And this is the beautiful thing about being a Christian is that when God preserves our lives, it's not just us, it's everybody around us that also is blessed and is taken care of and preserved. So I want to encourage you, Amy's going to share with you some things right now for you to strengthen yourself, for you to stay strong and to stay at rest in the middle of these unsettled times. Now the thing that Paul had that was so amazing was he had supernatural anchors and we have these same anchors that we can use to take us through a storm. Mm -hmm. The first thing he had was he had supernatural prayer. You guys, prayer keeps us from yes. being anxious and fills us with peace. He also had his faith That's because right. we have overcoming faith That's that right. we can use in order to stay strong. I'm going to share about that this Sunday. That's right. <laughs> also, the amazing grace of God. You know, right. God's grace gives us the power to live the Christian life even in the middle of a storm. He also, he had the Word of God. The Word of God yes. fills us with comfort and gives us truth in the midst of so much false news. Pick it up. That's Read right. it. 
Pray it, stand on it. That's it's right, good. yes. So we really want to encourage you, if you need encouragement right now, which I know a lot of us do, yeah. is go back to our series, the Abide series. Go back and listen to that. Also, a few months ago, we had the Grace series. Beginning of the year. And this is, mm -hmm. these are ministry times that you can just feed your soul, feed your spirit, yeah. feed your faith mm -hmm. to be able to encourage you in this mm -hmm. time. Go to our website, everynationcitychurch.com, or you can go to YouTube, our YouTube channel, and you can listen to all of our messages for the last year there. Also, Paul had the presence of God. Oh, yeah. We talked about the angels of the right. Lord being with him. Right. And the other thing that Paul had is he had some traveling companions. That's he had some right. brothers that stood with him that were praying and standing with him. And you have that. Brothers and sisters, believers that stand with you, these are all anchors to help you in the middle of these storms. So this Sunday, we're finishing our series, uh, The Resurrection Effect. It's gonna be awesome. Also, we're gonna be taking communions together as a family. So please prepare for that. And Amy, lastly, share with them about our uh, Spring Fest uh, food giveaway. Right. This Sunday, we have our Spring Fest food giveaway. We're so excited about mm -hmm. this. Please be praying for this event. We are believing to 200 minister families. to 200 families. Yes. Pray with them. Share Jesus with them. Please stand with yes. us. And we look forward to seeing this Sunday. We love you. We miss you. Service. You we guys are you awesome. So much. God bless. God bless.